So hi, welcome sa continuation ng my example sa delta, delta method. So proceed na tayo sa example number 2. So ang ating polynomial is y is equals to x squared minus 5x plus 8. So first step ng delta method, step 1 is yung mga x, gagawin natin, x plus delta x. So, yung x dito, and then x dyan, gagawin natin, x plus delta x. So, quantity squared minus 5, plus yung x dito, x plus delta x. Then, plus 8. See what I did there? Yung x, yung value nya, since squared sya, magkakaroon ng parenthesis kasi yung buong value ng x plus delta x is equal to x lang which is yun yung squared okay so yung y naman ah yung next step is yung y gagawin natin y plus delta y and then simplify natin tong expression na to x squared plus 2x delta x plus square of delta x minus distribute natin yung 5 5x negative 5x then negative 5 delta x then plus 8 so anong next step next step natin step 2 Step 2. Yung, yung equation 1, ito yung nakuhang equation sa so step 1, minus, o oh, subtract natin yung original equation. Ito yung orig equation. Yan. Tapos bali, uh, equation 1 minus orig equation. So, ano equation na ito? Y plus delta y is equals to x squared plus 2x delta x plus the quantity of delta x squared minus 5x minus 5 delta x plus 8 minus the original equation y equals to x squared minus 5x pag tapat natin sa mga similar terms nila plus 5 plus 8 so subtraction to diba so magchichange ng signs negative yung positive magiging negative yung negative magiging positive and then yung positive magiging negative so 0 to delta y ang matitira is equals to 0, x squared minus x squared is 0. So, bring down to x delta x plus the quantity of delta x squared. Then, 0 then to negative plus positive. So, and then, bring down my negative 5 delta x. Then, 8 minus 8 is 0. So, ito na yung equation na nabuo sa so step 2. So, step 3 na. Yung nabuong equation sa so step 2, divide natin both sides by delta x. So, sulat muna natin. Delta y is equals to 2x delta x. Delta x plus the quantity of delta x squared minus 5 delta x. Divide natin both sides by delta x. For delta x. So, simplify natin. So, may pwede ba tayong i-factor dyan? Yes, meron yung delta x. Kasi both term, each terms have a delta x in them. So, labas natin yung delta x. Matitira is 2x plus delta x since squared sya minus 5 all over delta x. So, pwede natin itong i-divide. Delta x by delta x is 1. So, matitira na 
expression is delta y or delta x is equals to 2x plus delta x minus 5. Okay. Ang ating last step, last step is find the limit. Step 4. Step 4 natin is find the limit as delta x approaches 0. So dy over tx is equals to the limit of delta y or delta x as delta x approaches 0. So palitan natin to ng no expression. So the limit of 2x plus delta x minus 5 as delta x approaches 0. So, substitution, 2x plus, in delta x, magiging 0, minus 5. So, matitira is 2x minus 5. So, ang final answer natin is dy over dx is equals to 2x, 2x minus 5. So, that's our final answer. So, yan yung derivative ng ating original polynomial equation. So, derivative nito is this. So, thank you sa, pak sa pakikinig at panalad ng video ito.